defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. So anybody that's, that's all defiled in the head or in, or in that reprobate mind, they're not going to want to receive it. They're always going to want to reject this word. But he says, those that are unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and their conscience is defiled. So in these last days, you better get this right. This is what the Most High is saying. In verse 16, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. A lot of people say he's in my heart, and we already know what Jeremiah said about that, how he said the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. And so Titus is saying what Paul said. So the people that don't want to hear this, the Most High is going to leave you in that reprobate mind because you know everything. So he's going to leave you stuck on stupid in that mindset where you're at until he cracks that sky. And then it's just a matter of time. He's going to, he's going to destroy you. And from there, I'm going to go to Zephaniah chapter 1. Book of Zephaniah chapter 1. Verse 8. And nine, and then I'm going to jump down to verse 12. And it shall come to pass, verse 8, in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children and such as are clothed with strange apparel. So if the women are in their modest dresses with their fringes, and if the men aren't wearing their fringes on that day, he's going to punish them. This is what he's saying. They're going to get destroyed. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. He's going to get all the liars, all the violent men and all the liars. Anybody that's doing any of these things on that day, the Most High is going to smite you. Now I'm going to jump down to verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Because he's going to send those, those men... Yahushua is going to have those the 144,000 under him. I'm hoping that I'm one of them. And I'm praying for the brothers that, you know, they're part of this. And we're going to have, and he said, this is what we're going to have to do. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And punish the men that are settled on their lees. See, lees, if you look up. If you look up lees in the, in the King James Dictionary, that was a bag that they put the wine in. So he's telling us not to be drunk with too much ideology and too much wine on that day. The Most High is saying that, that settled on their lees, that say in their heart, the Lord will not do evil, neither will he do shalakia. The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So you don't want to be one of those brothers that's saying that. The Lord's not going to do any good. And he's not going to do us any evil. And you don't want to be settled on your lees on that day. You want to make sure that you're doing things right. That you're walking in obedience. That's what you want to make sure you're doing. And from there, I'm going to go to Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel chapter 9. Shalaki, I passed it. Ezekiel chapter 9. Verse 4 through 6. And, the, and verse 4 says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and, sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So he's going to mark the, the, all the ox and the akiams, all the, sis, all the brothers and sisters that's being obedient. They're going to get that mark, that mark of ownership. And then verse 5 says, And to the others, he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. So he's saying to go through to all these others and kill them. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Verse 6, Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children. So he's not, the Most High is not going to have no mercy on the young or the elderly. If they were wicked on this day, he's, they're going to get smited. This is what's going to happen to them. He said, uh, let me read that again. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, 
and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. So it, we already know that the, that the judgment must begin with the house of God. And if judgment must begin with us, where is that going to leave all the sinners? The sinners aren't going to have a chance. They're not going to have a chance. And from there, I'm going to go to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1. Verse 15 through 17. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ, Hamashiach, came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. So we've all sinned and come short of the glory, but the thing is you don't want to sin no more. You want to stay spotless. You want to stay sinless. Verse uh, 16, how be it for this cause I obtain mercy that in me first Hamashiach Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to, to life everlasting. So that he, he left his life as an example of how we're supposed to live. So anybody's calling on the name of the Lord, you need to walk even as he walked. You have to do the same things that he did. Verse 17, now unto the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. So this is the, the honor that Yahawashai got for putting his body up as that sacrificial lamb on that cross. So this is something for, uh, I think, Yasharala really needs to meditate on. I hope you were edified with this lesson. And with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem. Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.